Hey guys, it's time for another late hump day news day episode and this time we have THQ Nordic's Biomutant is getting into hot water for locking a character class behind a pre-order bonus. Data miners have found that Ultron will be another boss in the game sometime in the future and Jin Sakai will be hitting the base screen before getting a sequel game. First up is Biomutant and the paywall class. The game locks its mercenary class behind pre-orders with players only able to unlock the class if they pre-purchase the game via a digital deluxe edition or the collector's edition of that tier. If you were unfortunate enough to pre-order the regular edition, both physically and digitally, then you're out of luck as you don't get the class. After getting questioned about this, a Nordic rep clarified that the class will be available at a later date as DLC, but who knows if they will because it has been shown before that some pre-order items will never be available, unless you happen to be one of the lucky ones to download it day one. Next we have data miners finding out that Ultron will be one of the next villains appearing soon in the game. The only upcoming bosses miners found that had any progress since post launch are Claw and Ultron. Red Hulk exists in the game but hasn't been touched in ages. They guessed that he may have been abandoned like War Machine. It sucks that characters may have been cut due to the rocky start the game has. I hope it does a 180 and we get to see more characters realized in this universe. This is an interesting take and this could have been a good game if they actually had enough time to produce it the correct way. Now this last one is pretty interesting as Sony and PlayStation Productions are producing a film adaptation of Sucker Punch's Ghost of Tsushima with Chad Starsky, Stalski? Well, I probably butchered that, attached as director with Sucker Punch in an executive producer role to help on the creative decision side. Not much else is known about the project other than it will follow Jin Sakai as he is the last of his clan who must set aside traditions which shaped him as a person and as a warrior to wage an unconventional war against invaders. I can't wait to see more from this project as Ghost of Tsushima was my game of the year last year with story and art design. That about wraps up Hump Day News Day. I hope Biomutant's pre-order DLC doesn't become lost video game media because the devs decided to not release the class to save money or just not bother due to sales. While Marvel's Avengers is a little worrying as we are only getting two new villains before the Wakanda expansion, or worst case, they are the only two new villains you're getting for the year. And in the comments below, does locking DLC to pre-order bonuses get you a bit worried that they won't release it later on due to poor sales? And are you interested in a ghost movie with a director from the John Wick series? Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Don't forget to follow the socials, everyone! <laughs> I know you want to. <laughs>